Today we're going to be talking about what NBA Live 21 should look like. And the reason we're going to be talking about this specifically is because of the creativity and the capability of the dev team that we know we have at EA Sports, regardless of the resources that they may or may not have. They've proven in the past with NBA Live 16 and on that they're willing to give us iconic environments that we may or may not have ever heard of and bring it to the forefront of basketball. That way we can experience ourselves, be educated on it, and also have a chance to visit the places if we want to ourselves. For example, even just looking at K54 from 2019 in NBA Live, I thought it was just a really dope feature that they added to the game knowing that this is a tournament that goes on in Paris every Every summer and I had no idea about it prior to playing NBA Live and I find myself to be a true NBA head but with that man it honestly opened my eyes to more opportunities to seek out more basketball around the world besides America and with that man we're gonna start this video off talking about some of the courts when it comes to what NBA Live 21 should look like and we're starting off with the Adidas 747 warehouse now for those of you that are unaware this was a court at all-star weekend 2018 that Adidas put on and they had the likes of Damian Lillard there James Harden released his I think second or third shoe there performances from Snoop Dogg 2 Chains, and etc etc and I just thought it was a dope look just seeing this court potentially could be in NBA Live 21 with the greens and yellows how it pops the location that it has with the lights outside I think this would be a really good looking court especially with the seating around it just imagining the environment that it has it would be really dope to see it in the game now transitioning into my next subject this is something that NBA Live and EA Sports have been getting into recently and that's helping out foundations with their local parks or basketball courts and some of those players having their own foundations i.e. like a Dennis Smith Jr. and if you haven't seen his court the Smithway Court in Fayetteville North Carolina I know it may not be the most attractive court but honestly I think it's pretty dope to see that they could potentially add a individual players court and make him like a boss of that court for instance if you go and visit that location and now when it comes to this court specifically they introduced it in 2018 with NBA Live 18 and that's the King Drew Magnet High School or for better known the Drew League and honestly I know this court revamps almost every summer so I know going into NBA Live 21 they could easily just revamp the court and give us something new so it would just be dope to see this court get a little more love especially getting an update going into the new game now as far as this court man it has some historical presence because of the late great Kobe Bryant and if you haven't heard of this you can look it up for yourself but it's called the House of Mamba court and with this it is an LED style court that really it can turn into art it can also turn into a training ground for those of you who want to take shots from a certain location i just thought hey i should introduce this to you guys that don't know about it i thought it was a really dope look now if there's any court in this video that would really be added it's this court right here and it's the jordan Jumpman downtown la rooftop court for one they could add a story in with this court being that on the second or third level of the store there's a legit workout gym there that only Jordan brand athletes can work out and come and participate but then on a rooftop as you see in the pictures they have this magnificent structure that they could honestly bring to NBA Live 21 and beyond and I think it will be a dope look especially for how they introduce K54 and etc etc they could just bring this as another addition or DLC in the future to NBA Live 21 now of course with this video I gotta add a couple of courts that may or may not even see the light of day but this is the Nike Chicago court they basically took a church in Chicago went in and redid the court all together and the surroundings of it and I thought it was pretty dope that Nike took that on and did that themselves NBA Live could easily add something like this just for a troll but I think it's a good look just to have the option of having it and with that I'm transitioning into this court which is one of the most eye-catching courts that I saw which was the Nike Rivington court in Manhattan now a funny story behind this court if you look up any information on it they basically had to dismantle the court altogether because of the homeowners around it complaining about the noise the people playing on a day in and day out basis on it it really just disturbed the peace with that court being there but overall just seeing this structure right in the middle of Manhattan in that street on Rivington Street specifically 
I thought it was a dope look, especially with the colors and the location of it. Now, at this point in the video, I definitely want to know from you guys, how are you feeling about the course that I've shown you so far? Do you think that this would add to NBA Live 21 or in the future, depending on how they release this, they could easily go about talking about a biannual or triannual release period where they release one game every three years and they have a consistent dev team on it that can work on it multiple years, similar to Apex Legends. Now that moves me on to another court that maybe they've already considered putting in NBA Live 19 or beyond, which is a Nike Stan Street court in New York by cause. Now with this video here, I just wanted to give you a brief look at what it looks like, but it's a side-by-side -side court with some nice art on it. And one thing NBA Live has recently done is work with artists and bring their creative works to life in the game and in real life. So I thought it would be really dope to just continue adding with that tradition that they've created by bringing in a court similar to this. Now, this last court really isn't aesthetically amazing. It's based in London and it's called the Regal. Now, if you look at it, it really doesn't have any amazing look to it, but it just has a presence about it that just makes it epic. Players like Scottie Pippen have visited there, and apparently it's a training ground for athletes that come through London that are Nike athletes can actually participate there. And it just seems more like a black ops basketball type of situation where you don't have any crowd around you, but you know when you show up, you're here to ball and that's it. And I just thought it was just a really dope look. And as far as these courts that I introduced to you guys, really it's just to keep on the tradition of what NBA Live has already proven to us since almost 2015, 2016, is that they're willing to give us new environments and show us that hey there is more to basketball outside of the NBA in general but hey also with this though if you didn't catch my video from yesterday we color corrected NBA Live 19 making it have a little bit more pop to it and also just be more stimulating to the eye but if you made it to this point in the video make sure to leave two way in the comment section because I would truly appreciate it and also subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one